So I wanted to take a minute and show you guys a little bit about why G7 really matters and why it's so important. So I'm going to sketch it out here. So if I had a little brand, imagine here's a brand and they have their little picture of uh, maybe they have a guy or a person who's holding whatever their product is. Maybe it's a cookie or something like that. Um, and we're going to take a look at where this goes. This goes into artwork. And if we looked at their supply chain, we might have something like, uh, say we have four Gravure printers. Maybe we have boxes. So we're going to have something like 10 or 11 litho printers. And then we're going to have some Flexo for some labels. So maybe there's, say there's three Flexo printers. And then there's wide format and display. So we'll have a couple of those. So if we take a look at this, we've got our Gravure, our Flexo, our Wide Format, and our Litho. So if we look at what we have here, we have 10, uh, 20 different suppliers who are going to be printing things that have this little piece of artwork on it. And taking a look at that little piece of artwork, really important. Uh, the way that things are done right now in traditional pre-media is they're going to fingerprint each of these. So each of these is going to get fingerprinted. It's going to have a different set of plate curves. It's going to have a different transform, probably a different piece of artwork after that transform. So if I look at this, this little piece of artwork right here, there's 20 different calibrations here. So they, you know, the pre-media company may go record the, what's happening there and do it. Now imagine that's one guy and imagine that's maybe that's across, you know, for one, one thing. If, imagine if I have something like, you know, 300 products or something like that. So I could conceivably, instead of having one piece of artwork, you know, I could conceivably have something like a thousand iterations of this artwork different sizes, different printing plants, different plate curves, different translation for different processes. So I could have a thousand pieces of artwork here. And then I have to manage it. And then say this printer goes away, I replace it with a new printer, or it gets shipped over here. You know, if they don't do that conversion and reconvert it, then my artwork doesn't come out correctly. So this is where G7 comes in, and I'm just gonna give you the brief on why G7 is so much better. So same thing, imagine that I've got my little person here holding the cookie or whatever it is that they're holding. And imagine over here, I've got my four gravure plants. So that's my gravure. I've got my three flexo plants making labels. And I've got my 10 or 11 litho plants folding cartons. And then I've got my wide format and my wide format for store displays and things like that. So I've got those. Uh, and the key thing here, here I have one piece of artwork. These are all calibrated to G7. They've all got the same target when they calibrate the press. All these are calibrated to G7. So I've got one piece of art. That single piece of artwork can go to any of these plants and produce a similar result. Uh, <clears throat> I have one calibration. I don't worry about the calibration. The calibration is done by the printing plant. So all I really worry about is this one piece of artwork. I can take this single piece of artwork and go anywhere in the world that's calibrated to G7 and get a similar result. This is why G7 is so powerful. You know, look at it, a thousand pieces of artwork, one piece of artwork. Think of the complexity of organizing in all this asset management and then not having to organize it over here. So look at G7, look at the simplicity. Think about that across a large supply chain with a lot of pieces of artwork and it makes a huge, huge difference. So I'm Ron Ellis. And this is my little story of why G7 matters for a brand.